Okay, so today we're going to be um, changing the hard disk in this Acer Aspire All-in-One Core i3 um, PC. Uh, so this is running Windows 10 Pro and its drive is encrypted with BitLocker. So the first thing that we want to do before we can clone the disk um, is we need to decrypt the hard disk. Now the reason for that is this is a one terabyte drive in this machine. Um, it's been changed before, but uh, because it's an i3, it's running a little bit slow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap out the one terabyte hard disk and we're gonna replace it with a 500 gig SSD drive. Now, the reason that you need to decrypt the disk if you're running Windows 10 Pro is um, you cannot use the trim operation so you can't shrink down a partition uh, so you won't be able to fit um, all of the partitions or certainly the c drive partition um, you won't be able to fit that onto the 500 gig ssd drive so what we've done here is we're currently running through the decryption and once that is fully decrypted then we can then shut it down and then we can go ahead and clone the hard disk onto our SSD drive and insert the new SSD drive, boot the system back up and then re-encrypt the data that's on the SSD drive. So um, once this finishes, we'll come back and show the disk removal and how you take it out of one of these systems. And then we're gonna run through the installation of the SSD drive and um, booting up. So once the decryption's completed, you want to use whatever tool that you decide to use for cloning the drive. So what we're actually going to use is we are going to be using Macrium Reflect, which is free for disk cloning for local drives. So we're going to connect our SATA disk uh, SD SSD drive to USB 3 on the back of the machine here. Then we're going to insert the other Macrium startup USB stick. We're going to run F12 to get into the boot menu. Hopefully it's F12. Yep. And we want to select our Macrium Reflect USB boot disk. So once it's booted up, um, it's a simple two-step operation. You click on the backup tab up on the top left of the screen. Um, what you want to do is you want to deselect the um, recovery partitions so that you've only got the, um, the boot partition and the second partition and then your C drive. As you can see here, now we've got the disk decrypted. Um, we're going to be able to trim the operation so that actually it can all fit into uh, the 500 gig disk. So what you want to do is you want to select clone this disk and then we want to make sure that our three partitions that we need are selected. We're going to click on select a disk to clone to and as you can see here this is our 500 gig SSD drive so we simply click on that. Um, so that's going to clone those three partitions onto um, the drive. Click on next and then finished. So once that's completed, um, we'll then go through taking the old hard disk out and replacing it with the SSD drive and show you how we do that. And then the performance on boot up and loading general applications. Okay, so that's the clone completed. Once it's finished, you want to shut Macrium down, clicking on the shutdown and then we can insert the disk. Okay, so to remove the hard disk from this Acer Aspire C22760, what you want to do is there's two um, screws holding the foot plate on, so you want to unscrew those and then remove the foot plate. Put that to one side. The next thing underneath here is um, you'll see that uh, there are one, two screws at the furthest ends which hold the bezel on for around the screen. So you don't need to remove those. 
there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws on this bottom um, um, this bottom bar. And what that does, that holds this back bracket on. So to remove that, you want to remove the seven screws. So we'll do that right now. Okay, and then the, uh, the bottom bar will just come away. And then the next thing you want to do, you can prise the bottom up. And when you do that, what you need to do is getting down on this back edge here. Um, this is hooked in underneath, so you want to prise this, lift up the front, and give it a bit of a wiggle, as it will come out. There we go, that's that one. Oh, it's tough. It actually pushes up and releases. There should be one more in the middle. There we go. And then that will slide off like that. It's quite difficult to do. You can see uh, we've got the little the pegs here that clip in. Um, so it's quite a difficult job to do. And then the hard disk, as you can see, is here. It's a one terabyte drive. So we're gonna remove this tape carefully. Like so, so we can get to the disk. And then there's one screw down there, another screw over this side. So it looks like two screws just holding that in. So we're going to release that. But that is a very small, very small Phillips screwdriver. Right, just need to get another screwdriver for that. Okay. So uh, this is actually a little watch screwdriver. Okay, there's one more screw right down in there. That's a real pain. So what I think I might do is I might take off this whole assembly piece. There we go, got it. Okay, now that other screw. Take that out. Okay, so that's the disc tray out now. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this tray off the hard disk and then we're gonna mount our SSD drive in there. So we need our SSD drive. And we're gonna take this tray so we need to make sure it goes back in the same way so that is the way around it goes
Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is we want to get the disc back in. Slide that into position like so. And I'm just going to put this uh, screw in here to start with, as that is the trickiest one to get in. Okay, so that's the drive inserted now. So next thing we want to do is we want to push, reseal this back down over the top of that, just to make sure that's held in place. And then the next thing that we want to do is we want to insert this uh, cover again. Now, I don't envisage this as being a particularly easy job, but um, we will give it a go. So. You're going to raise the arms up as high as they go, slide that over there like that, and then bring it over the back, and then lock it in place. Actually, that is it. That was a lot easier than I thought. There we go, just make sure it all clips in, which it has done on both sides now. And the next thing you want to do is it's time to reinsert the seven screws along the front once you put this plate on. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this over now and we're going to slide this over the top because there's two tiny little pegs on either side here which slot into the bezel. So you want to make sure that that is inserting correctly. Okay, so that is everything done. Um, let's get it connected and then we'll have a look at the boot time. First boot usually takes, um, usually takes a few seconds longer while it sorts itself out, recognises the disc. But there's no bespoke configuration at all, it should just boot straight up. Well, Okay, so that's uh, about 10 times as fast as it was previously. So. And we're done. So if we have a look at the device manager, and we now go to have a look at our disk. So disk drives, 
So there's our, uh, our disk there, uh, 500 gig. That's all working correctly. And now we want to make sure everything, wow, everything's already started up. So uh, what difference that's going to make. So um, if you found that video useful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Just like to say uh, thanks for watching.